Hey, welcome to Pixel Pixel. I'm Decoy. I've got an awesome mod for you today called Blackthorn, a buildable town in the Rift, Xbox One. Now what this is going to let you do is it's going to let you build a town. Plain and simple. Just like you could go build a house, like in the Hearthfire DLC. This is going to take it to that next level. Of course, that's going to be the only complete house when you first get there. But this is what it can look like when you've got it decked out and finished. Mind you, it's going to take quite a bit of time to get to this point, because it takes a lot of resources and a lot of money. But luckily, the two people who live in that house uh, are both merchants, and they sell you almost everything you could possibly need to fully deck this place out. And you even get to build some walls to keep all the crazy critters out. Or at least it would keep them out if people would freaking close the gate. Of course, there we had a guard barracks. One cool thing that you can build inside the guard barracks is a jail, which comes complete with a prisoner. So it's amazing. I mean, who, who, who doesn't want to have free prisoners? I mean, at least I can go in there and poke them with a stick when I get bored. Of course, my character's so overpowered, I'm pretty sure even poking him with a stick would cause him to explode. Alright, so, I mean, there's all sorts of cool buildings that you can make. You, you can make, like, an alchemist a shop, a blacksmith. Of course, right here you have where you can get all your furs and that kind of good stuff. I mean, if I remember right, there's even a bookstore. So you can go buy dirty magazines and stuff. It's amazing. Of course, here at the boat dock, you can hop on the boat and fast travel to any of the main cities. Which is really nifty if you haven't been to all of them yet. Back here, this is the guest house to the main player home, which the deer wanted to get into. I'm not going to go through and show everything in that town. Cause take you die with a sword in your hands. Woman, would you not sit here and interrupt me wishing me death? You are a horrible woman. But anyways, you get through building all this, you're going to have so many mannequins. It's going to give you nightmares when you sleep in this place. Of course, there's all sorts of cool little things in here. Of course, you have all your smithing needs. Uh, there would be an enchanting table, but I kind of forgot to build it. I got so busy. Yeah. Uh, of course, you even get a library to store all the dirty books that you've uh, picked up over the, the ages. And then we have a bunch of shrines, too, and they work. Of course, you do have to get, like, the Amulet of Mara and the Amulet of Arche, if I recall. Which they can be kind of a pain to get at times. Of course, I just activated the Lover Stone. Because why not? I'm a lover, not a fighter. And it shot a laser beam through my floor. Guess on the plus side, it wasn't a red laser beam, because if video games have taught me anything, it's that red laser beams cause fires and explosions. Alright, now let's get to the master bedroom. It's where the magic happens. And yes, I have two Darth Vader mannequins beside my bed. They are from Darth Vader XB1. Now, it's a... It's a pretty cool mod. It does give you some pretty awesome looking Darth Vader armor that you can craft. But unfortunately, the hilt will cause your game to crash if you try to make Darth Vader's hilt. I mean, you can make it, but you can't really put it in a weapons rack. or You just don't make it. Alright, it's not worth it. Sooner or later, your game's going to crash because of that hilt. You can make the armor, but it won't work on females. Alright, here real quick, this is where... Blackthorn is near Riften. There you have it, folks. Please remember to like, sub, and share later.